In the battle to produce aircraft that can perform ultra long range missions, aircraft manufacturing rivals Airbus and Boeing have produced some twin ancient aircraft with impressive long range capabilities. Let's take a look and compare two of these aircraft the Boeing 777 200LR and the Airbus A350 900 ultra long range. Before we compare the performance of each aircraft, it's important to know when they were built. Indeed, technological progress and new developments continue to push the efficiency and range of aircraft. This makes it difficult or even a little unfair when directly comparing aircraft which are years apart. So how do these jets differ? March 8, 2005, the date of the very first Boeing 777-200LR flight. The jet took off from Everett, Washington for an initial 3-hour flight. April 23, 2018, the first A350-900 ULR MSN216 completed its first flight out of Toulouse. With the above dates, we can see that the two aircraft are 13 years apart, a fairly significant divide in the world of commercial aircraft development. Therefore, before even looking at the numbers, we can assume that the A350-900 ULR will have the upper hand. So how do the two aircraft actually compare in terms of performance? Here is how the specifications break down. The 777-200LR has a range of 8500 nautical miles with a capacity to carry 301 passengers in a 3 class configuration or 440 in a single class configuration. It has a fuel burn rate of about 6.8 tons per hour. On the other hand, the A350-900 ULR has a range of 9700 nautical miles with a capacity to carry 350 passengers in 3 classes or 440 in a single class configuration. It has a fuel burn rate of about 5.8 tons per hour. Comparing the performance of the two aircraft, we can see that their sizes are essentially identical. However, that's where the similarities end. The A350-900 ULR outperforms the 777-200LR where it matters the most, range and fuel burn, with the Airbus flying much further while burning less fuel. As we noted above, this isn't much of a surprise considering its development was 13 years later. The 777-200LR does have a higher maximum takeoff weight. A portion of this increased weight is the additional capacity needed to store fuel to go the distance. In addition to burning more fuel, the extra weight will also result in more expensive operations with most airports calculating landing fees based on maximum takeoff weight. This is where the Boeing 777-200LR beats out the A350-900ULR in a big way. At this time, the 777-200LR has racked up 61 orders with 60 aircraft delivered. The one outstanding order is for Turkmenistan Airlines. This was ordered in 2019 and has yet to be delivered. Notable operators of the type include Delta Airlines, Emirates, Qatar Airways, Air Canada, Ethiopian Airlines. Delta Airlines has since retired its 777 fleet. On the other side, the Airbus A350-900 ULR has only received a mere 7 orders. All of these come from Singapore Airlines. The jet primarily features on the carrier's ultra-long distance route between Singapore and New York. This lack of popularity can be explained by a number of factors. 
the ultra long haul game requiring the range of the A350-900 ULR is a tiny market to begin with. Few city pairs have a level of demand to justify a direct non-stop service, while some passengers would prefer making a stop on a such long trip anyway. The 777-200 LR filled a previously untapped niche. Airlines operating the type have largely held on to their planes and continue to operate them. Certainly, efficiency gains made by non-ultra long-range versions of aircraft now available on the market have lowered the demand for such an aircraft. Majority of the routes can be satisfied with normal jets. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to this channel.